for me. If I decide that I'm going to do something or any, or God gives me an assignment or God lays something into my hands, I will run with it immediately. I, I'm, I've, I've gotten so used to not perfecting anything and just starting because I know there will never be a perfect time. Like, imagine if I've been trying to make things perfect, I might still be, 10 years after, I might not have started, right? And so I just think that, you know, I, I hope that it's encouraging someone that is just saying, oh, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow, I need to perfect some things, I need to just start. Along the way, you will perfect. You are not starting, you are delaying many things. You are, you know, you are also, there's some destiny that I attach to the business that you're doing, that you're even just, you know, because you don't, you're not thinking about that. You don't know how many lives you are You don't know back. that people are coming to the table with something, the author, of, the author of the book is Johnny Enlow, Johnny Enlow, D-O-N-N-Y-E-N-L-O-W. And the title of the book is The Seven Mountain Prophecy. Okay, so you will know that some people came with something. Some people came with something. <laughs> some people came with something, friends. People don't come for board meetings anyhow. They come with something supernatural. They come with something spiritual. Work must glorify God. Work must glorify God. God must look down and say, look at my beloved son. Look at that, my son. See what they've done for me. Look at what they're doing in my name. And when we think about work glorifying God, anything you do that makes someone say in their bedroom, in their conversations with others, ah, glory to God, is work that has glorified God.